All right, guys, so I want to show you how I clean up a Dutch oven. Um, this is after our mac and cheese video. Um, it's completely cooled down. Everybody's done eight. And uh, I got some hot water rolling. And we're going to clean this up. And I just want to show you how to do that. So I got some hot water rolling. I'm going to get some in here. Just kind of start going around. I like to use these little scrubbies. It's a hard bristle, little bamboo handle thing. It's just what I got at Wally World for like three bucks. Um, you can get one of these type here. It's a softer bristle. Works just as well. Um, I don't use soap, so. But, you know, you, soap nowadays does not contain lye, which lye would eat away at your seasoning. Well, the the dish soap nowadays does not contain the lye, so if you really wanted to, you could. But with the process that I do, um, we sterilize the iron so it won't grow any bacteria. And I'll show you that. Just kind of walk, just keep going around, scrubbing every bit, and I feel with my hand the bottom if there's anything sticking you know we did wipe it down with bacon grease um, so it won't you know it should come pretty clean and okay to here she's pretty well seasoned she's been around a block or two and I just kind of move my fingers along the bottom just to see how, how it's coming up and then slowly pour it out because you don't want to make a mess and we got most of it that first go around so let's just get in there I like to just go around it with my hand and just to make sure that it's nice and smooth and you know if I have any pieces at all it just comes off. And I got some stuff stuck right here, just rub it off with my hand. If the scrubby doesn't get it, just use your hand. You can use one of those plastic scrapers that Lodge has and it works just as well. My problem is, is I never know where one is because it keeps getting put in different drawers after cleaning. Now, let's get a paper towel and dry this out. What? Paper towel? Yes, I use paper towels just to just to dry it up. Let me kind of see if you missed any spots. And I like the paper towel just because it's easy, easy clean up. I can just throw it away while I'm done. Wicks up all the moisture. I'll roll it over and I'll wipe it down all the way around. Try to get up all the water. Get up all the water. Okay. Uh, all that there is from the carbon from being in the smoker.
I like to flip it upside down, put it in the oven. Set it 220 degrees. We'll let it come up to uh, preheat temp. And then we'll let it go for about 20 minutes or so, 30 minutes. So let's pull it out. You know, she's nice and dry. Okay, so now what I like to do is I got it out. I like to use Buzzy Wax. It's a semi-local product for me. And uh, it's something I really like. Just take a little bit, dab it on your rag, make sure you put on your hot glove because your iron's hot, rub her down, Get her, rub it all the way down, try to rub it off, all the way around, get the handles all the way around, get it all on one side. Flip it over, get the sides real good, get the underside all the way around the legs, there we go, and that's it, just a nice coat, we'll let it sit, cool down before we put her away.